Back in 2018, Kylie Jenner was crowned by Forbes as world's youngest self-made billionaire. This of course sparked a massive outrage because many people thought that Kylie Jenner just did not fit the whole self-made title. Because of the fact that she's a part of the Jenner slash Kardashian clan, the same kind of people who, uh, who tricked millions of people on Instagram to think that uh, this is the new beauty standard. How much my body do you see right now? Uh, you know the same clan that tricked millions of impressionable Instagram people to think that this is the new beauty standard? But what I'm trying to say is in comparison to someone like Mark Zuckerberg, Kylie Jenner just doesn't really quite fit the same category. As a metaphor to describe this, I wanna like use their, their wealth as a plant that they're growing. So for example, Mark Zuckerberg, he had to go get all of his tools, the dirt, the seeds, and plant his plant 100% by himself. Obviously he had outsider help, but it was mainly his initiative that caused the plant to grow to what it is today. Meanwhile, Kylie Jenner here, she was given the seeds, she was given the soil, she was shown how to plant the seeds, she was shown how to water the plant. Forbes still considers, since I guess she was holding the watering canister for her own company, that she's a self-made billionaire. But please let me know in the comments down below what you think of that. But as I was saying, Forbes decided to stand by giving her that title, since she's the one who started and ran the business instead of just inheriting money. But again, this year, Forbes announced that Kylie still holds the enviable title. But now, flash forward until a couple weeks ago, Forbes just came out of the cut like, hey, you know that billionaire status that we gave to Kylie Jenner? Yeah, about that one. Might need to retract it. This lied at like several times. And we kind of think that she kind of like, you know, allegedly faked her tax returns and gave them to Forbes. Allegedly. But in a nutshell, Forbes can't prove that she faked her tax returns. They, they just think she did. But it's not like that's going to be the first thing that's fake about her. Allegedly. But yeah, Forbes is claiming they've officially taken away the self-made billionaire title from Kylie Jenner. Or temporarily, at least, because it is kind of inevitable that she's going to climb back up on that list, considering how young she is and how much money she's making annually. But recently, a writer at Forbes posted an article titled Inside Kylie Jenner's Web of Lies and Why She's No Longer a Billionaire. The Forbes YouTube channel also posted a video which they labeled under the category of Forbes Investigates. Oh, wow, sh watch out, BuzzFeed Unsolved, Forbes is coming for you. In this video, Forbes staff members going through the details of working with Kylie Jenner. In order to receive the very desirable self-made billionaire title, you need to be completely transparent with your financial documents, meaning you actually have to provide proof of your earnings, which Jenner's deem provided the form of tax returns signed by Kylie. Industry experts were able to confirm what Kylie's camp claimed. Kylie's camp claimed that Kylie Cosmetics earned a whopping $300 million in sales within just one year from the ground up, meaning that Kylie Jenner went from $0 to $300 million in sales within a year. Very, 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 very impressive to say the least. And, uh, and it was so much so impressive that apparently Forbes staff was pretty skeptical about these claims. Especially because during the previous year, 2017, Kylie and her team reached out to Forbes again to see how she would rank in the list, and then she apparently only ranked 59 on the Forbes Top 100 Celebrity list. Naturally, Kris Jenner, Kylie's mom and basically her boss and ruler and dictator, um, Momager. Momager, that's the word I was looking for. She was apparently pissed off at this. And then Chris apparently started talking about how Kylie Cosmetics was pulling in the big boy numbers, like 300 million type beat. Yo, can we get a $300 million type beat in here? This is when Kylie, Chris, and her team came up with those Kylie Cosmetic tax returns. Although the Forbes team was very skeptical, they took all this information and just concluded that they had to give Kylie this big crown. But now Forbes is apparently stating they believe those tax returns were fake. Last November, Kylie sold 51% of her company, Kylie Cosmetics, to Cody Incorporated, which is a beauty giant that owns many other cosmetic brands. Because Kylie has now sold a huge portion of her brand with a public company, it came to light that Kylie Cosmetics was actually not nearly as successful as the Jenner team were trying to make it out to be. Cody and corporate was actually upset because they paid Kylie around $600 million for the 51% stake in Kylie Cosmetics, only to find out they overpaid since the company was actually not worth as much as they were led to believe. Bro, is that fraud? <laughs> That sounds like some financial crimes, man. <laughs> Cody then released the actual numbers that Kylie Cosmetics has been pulling. As I previously mentioned, Kylie's team gave Forbes the idea that Kylie Cosmetics pulled in about $300 million in 2018. Kylie's team also claimed that Kylie's skin pulled around $100 million. However, Cody Incorporate states that Kylie Cosmetics actually earned around $125 million in 2018, and the Kylie skincare 
earn less than $25 million instead of the alleged $100 million. That's still an absolute dumpster truck load of money, but still it's 66% less than what they let on to Forbes. So I mean, what the f gender clan? The f is this? Why are you guys caught being fake again? They should patent cosmetic surgery while they're at it. Now I'm just waiting for the news to break that the, the Jenners and the Kardashians are the actual real owners of BitConnect. But it's safe to say that Chris and Kylie are uh, pissed off with these stories. So in response to these claims, Kylie tweeted this. Let's see. What am I even waking up to? I thought this was a reputable site. All I see are numbers of inaccurate statements and unproven assumptions, lol. I've never asked for any title or tried to lie my way there ever, period. Okay. Next tweet. I can name a list of a hundred things more important right now than fixating on how much money I have. So can I. But now in a really weird plot twist, Kylie's now in a new list put out by Forbes that makes it seem that Kylie's back in their good books, I guess. And yes, this list came out after all of this debate. It's the Forbes highest paid celebrity list in which Kylie Jenner herself landed on the number one spot. So they just believe her now? I don't know. Do you guys believe her? Who believes her? This is just very confusing. This this is very, very confusing. None of this makes sense. But it's also not proven fact. We're just trying to follow this story and what we're saying is like from what we can understand. We're not saying 100% of this is like proven or cl claiming that at all. We're just trying to follow it and, yeah. and we're basing it off of what Forbes is putting out. But what I don't understand is like in Kylie's response, she was going at Forbes for posting the article and stuff. Mm -hmm. But what about Cody. I thought Cody was the one who was posting this stuff because they're like, hey, what the hell? We bought, we spent, I think they uh, paid $600, 600 million, million dollars right? for something that's allegedly bringing in $125 million a year. So why is she not addressing them? Do you think it's just going on privately or something? Or I don't know. I have no idea. What do you guys think? Honestly, I have no idea. We're just trying to follow what Forbes is writing on this. If any new information comes out, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. It'll be awesome if you subscribed. And if you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as a Tozy on Instagram or Twitter. Links will be down in the description down below. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Credit. When I go far, I need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on my feet, touch heaven. Heaven head first, bitch, already want seconds.